The opinions expressed on the X and Y show are the sole opinions of the host. Please note, there is no intentional desire to offend any member of the listening audience. With that said, if you still feel offended, <laughs> tough shit. It's time for the X and Y show. With your host, Mr. Roosevelt. He talks about man topics, lady topics, and relationships. He talks about love, sex, and infidelities. He even gives good tips. There is no other show that compares to the X and Y show. Oh yeah, sit back, take your clothes off, and relax. It's time for the X and Y Show, where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. The only place on the planet that tackles the topics that everyone wants to talk about, but no one is brave enough to address. Nothing escapes X and Y, baby. Now, here's your host, Roosevelt Colbert. <sighs> And greetings, 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 and greetings. Welcome to another segment of the XY Show, and I'm your host, Roosevelt. <laughs> and uh, I want to say Happy Easter, it's a little early, but Happy Easter, the same week, I think today, Good Friday, and, uh, you know, uh, last week was Palm Sunday. Happy Easter to everyone, uh, you know, and... Uh, you know, I hope you have a good time finding Easter eggs and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. The, I know the real meaning of Easter, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And, uh, you know, that's a very special day in, um, in the lives of all Christians. So I want to say happy Easter to everyone and hope you're enjoying it with family and friends. Oh, man, I'm so glad to be back today. You know, it's been a long week. Let me tell you, damn, it seems like it's, uh, these weeks get a little longer. But, uh, you know, we're already in April, pretty much May, uh, you know, a couple of well, 10 days or so. So, you know, it's already, you know, it's the really year is almost halfway gone. And before you know it, we'll be seeing jack o lanterns, you know, and, and then, uh, was at the Jack and Lantern, you'd be seeing the pilgrims and stuff and the fall decorations. And then my favorite time of the year, Christmas trees and winter and stuff, even though we don't get winter down here anymore. It used to get cold, colder now, but it don't do it anymore. But anyway, uh, that's my favorite time of the year, those holidays. <clears throat> uh, Christmas being my favorite, but... um. And of course, my birthday is in November, so I will definitely let you guys know so I can I get some gifts. You know, you can cash at me or uh, <clears throat> give you a P.O. box or something like that, or you just want to send me some naked pictures. That'll be fine. Women only. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> got a letter, X and Y letter I would like to read today from Carolyn. Uh, I heard your show last week um, when you made the comment that women cannot be given compliments and I totally disagree with that I think if you really believe that you do not know women <laughs> all women love to hear compliments how could you say that however I love your show I love it because you keep it real. You definitely do not hold your tongue. Keep up the good work, Carolyn. Well, Carolyn, uh, I think I know what you're talking about in, the, in that segment. I was, uh, I said so much shit, but I, I believe I said that you can't give a woman compliments. Um, you, in, in your letter, you say, I don't know women. And you're right. You're absolutely right. I don't know which women will actually appreciate a compliment. So I don't say shit. And I recommend that all men, until they actually know the woman, you know, if you're talking about a, you know, if you're talking about a stranger or something, I recommend that all women, all men don't say shit. Because you're right, you don't know the woman. 
So don't say shit. Don't give them no compliments. Don't say your your perfume is, smells nice. Your hair looks nice. Uh, I like your dress. Don't say none of that shit. Because you don't know the women. You're right, Carolyn. <laughs> I don't know. So that's why I don't say shit. I stay safe. Now, later on, if I know the woman, I feel a little comfortable with them, I might say something. But you got to be careful with that shit. Because, yeah, you know, a woman get mad at you, you know, she had you in HR. <laughs> you know, for something that you thought was innocent and, you know, she just trying to get your ass ran out of there. So I, I've seen that with my own eyes. So you, you have to be very careful. And what I was saying, it's really just not worth it these days. With all this Me Too and all this damn, uh, you know, shit going around, it's really just not worth it. Is it? Is it that much that you have to tell a woman that your hair looks good, your, your perfume smells nice, and uh, I like your shoes and all that shit? Yeah, it, it, it makes a woman feel good. I, I know that. You should say nice things, but you just, you just can't. You can't. Not anymore. Not anymore. It's just not safe because what? You don't know. So, Carolyn, I totally agree with you. I don't know women. I don't know which women would have my ass in HR for giving a simple compliment. So, I don't say shit. I play the numbers game. You know, I stay safe and sorry. You know, so... I completely agree with you, Carolyn. And that's why I'm not, I don't say a goddamn thing. I keep it safe. That's what I recommend all guys do. You know, women, you can't have your cake and eat it too. You know, you like compliments, that's good, but it's just not safe for men to do that anymore. It's just not. And it's not worth it. Shit. Fuck that. It's not worth it. You know, now I'm talking strictly about a woman that you supposed to be platonic with, you know, friendly, you know, that kind of thing. I'm not talking about your wife or your girlfriend. Yeah, you give them compliments. I gotta I gotta <laughs> spell that out to some of you slow motherfuckers out there. I'm not talking about your wives or your girlfriends not giving them compliments. No, I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the woman that you work with, the woman that you see occasionally at the job, and you know, that kind of shit. A woman that just started on a job, or a person in church, a new female member, that kind of stuff. Women who you don't know. That's what I'm talking about. You don't know, so you should shut the fuck up. Don't say nothing. Anyway, I'm gonna get into this week's episode Oh, this is a deep one. Could you accept the love child produced from infidelity? Let me repeat that. Could you accept a love child produced from infidelity? <laughs> you know, this, this, this episode brings me back to, I don't know if some of you remember Arnold Schwarzenegger. He cheated on his wife, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, shit, I'm going. I always go blank. Maria Schreiber, that's her name. And um, he cheated on her and actually got a a child from. He cheated with the maid. Was it the maid? Yeah, I think the maid got the maid <laughs> pregnant and had a baby, and they was living all in the house and shit, uh, right under the nose, and um, got some cold shit, but um. He actually got, and, and she found out, and she, you know, the marriage was over. You know, she was like, you gotta go. And, you know, and they, they say Arnold was running behind, I'm sorry. You know? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know what he said. I'm sure his ass was begging, though. But, um, Maria Schreiber say, fuck that, it's over. <laughs> Your ass got to go. She didn't forgive him. She didn't forgive him. And, you know, what would it take for someone to forgive from something like that? I mean, that's really deep. You know, you actually, and, and you know, and I, I, Maria Schreiber, you know, she look, she look all right for, <laughs> you know, I like older ladies. 
she look all right uh, for her age and uh, I, huh? She look all right. I ain't saying the maid was ugly, but you know, um, Maria Shaw would look all right. So it makes me think, you know, I'm I'm, I'm being a devil advocate here. What made Arnold Schwarzenegger fuck the maid? You know, cheat on his wife and fuck the maid. You know, uh, uh, maybe Maria Shriver wasn't giving him no pussy. You know, maybe she wasn't giving him, you know, sucking his dick. I don't know. You know, maybe she's mad at him. Who knows? You don't know. Only they know. But, you know, it, what was the reason that he cheated in the first place? Was Maria Schreiber fulfilling her wifely duties in the bed? I don't know. Only they know that. But I'm just being the devil advocate here. I'm just speaking, you know, hypothetically. I'm not trying to make excuses for Arnold Schwarzenegger. He should have never done that. That was cold. But I'm just saying. You know, what? Why did he do it? Maybe he just did it because he's he a dog. I don't know. I don't know him. But I'm just saying. I, you know, just think about it for a minute. Why would he do that? You know, right in the house? That's that's low. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he can go anywhere in the damn world and get any woman he want. Why would he do that shit in the house under the same roof with his wife? That's some cold shit. It makes me think he was trying to get vengeful. You know, like, you won't give me no pussy? All right, I'm going to do this. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just throwing theories out there. You know, I'm just talking shit. Yeah. <laughs> but what would be the reasons that someone could forgive something like that? You know, in my opinion, there is no respect for the other person that does that. You know, there is no love, period. Let me repeat that. There is no respect and there is no love. How could you respect someone if you, uh, you know, cheat on them and get somebody pregnant or you cheat on them and got pregnant? Because it happens both ways. You know, women cheat, get pregnant and you got to tell their husbands and men cheat, get somebody pregnant, got to tell their wives. It happens both ways. Although I will admit most of the time you hear about the men getting women pregnant on the outside, you know, and have to come back to their wives and confess. But it does happen both ways. But for anyone who does that to their wife or husband, they have no respect for that person. And there is no love for that person. How could you respect someone? How could you love someone? Bad enough you're cheating, but you out there getting somebody pregnant or getting pregnant for one bad enough you're cheating, but you getting somebody pregnant or getting pregnant for one. And then you got their fucking raw dog, you know, and, and potentially exposing your so-called loved one to a myriad of STDs that some of them that can kill your ass. And that, that's respect. That's love that you would actually risk somebody that like you risked in their life. You know, you going out there getting pussy fucking raw dog, at least protect yourself, put on a condom, even though condoms don't uh, protect you hundred percent, but at least you, you know, you, you trying, you cheating, you, you, you cheating the right way. But you, you guys and girls go out there fucking raw dog, nothing all in somebody and, and let somebody nut all in you and then going back to your wife or your husband at home, exposing them to potentially STDs that can kill the ass. How is that love? How is that respect? You know, I don't, I, they, they, they couldn't be not, how could you, you know, I, I, and I always say this, I've never been in love. I never have been in love with any anyone not on that level not not in a relationship sense so I, I don't know how it is to be in love but I, I'm saying if I was truly in love if there's such a thing I could 
uh, you know, I, and I, don't get me wrong, I, I'm not playing holier than that, but, I, you know, everybody fuck up sometime, but that's really fucking up. That's like fucking up to the second power. You know, you going out there getting pregnant or getting somebody pregnant, that's really fucking up. You, know, you didn't just cheat, you cheated. Huh? You didn't just cheat, you cheated. How could you love somebody? I'm just asking a question. You so-called love somebody and supposed to love them and cherish them and respect them. You know, that sound familiar? Sound very close to vows. If you're supposed to do all this, how could you go out there and first of all, cheat anyway? And second of all, get somebody pregnant or get pregnant. And you, 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 you so-called love somebody. And I'm gonna be honest, if it was me, you know, speaking, you know, from my mind now, because I've never been in love, who knows, when I get married and supposedly be in love with someone, I, I might forgive them, who knows? I don't know. Uh, love, they say love make you do silly shit, I don't know. But speaking in my mind now, if that happens to me, um, absolutely not. You know, I could forgive at the time, but I couldn't forget. The marriage is over. Fuck out my face. The marriage is over. I could never forget that shit. Yeah. But I will admit, if I if I did fuck up like that and got somebody pregnant on the outside, I would want my wife to forgive me. <laughs> I know, boy, I know some women out there grinning. They don't want to reach through this microphone and choke my ass to death. I know it's, yeah, it's double standard. I know it is, but I don't give a fuck. I'm selfish. <laughs> Shit. If I had fucked up like that, I would want my wife to forgive me. <laughs> but I would not forgive her. <laughs> fuck that. I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. But don't come down hard on me. I mean, you know, how many guys do you know? I mean, some of you, I know a lot of you listen to my voice right now. How many of you guys do you know who've actually gotten somebody pregnant on the outside and their wives are, their, their wives actually forgave them? And, you know, how many guys do you know if their wife was to do the same thing Go out and get pregnant and come back and say, baby, I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm so sorry. I got pregnant. I was with him and you were, we were drifting apart and I just got so lonely. And I'm sorry, baby. I'm pregnant. How many guys do you know that now that they got somebody pregnant on the outside? But how many guys do you know if their wife come to them and say, look, I fucked up. I got, I got pregnant. How many guys do you know would actually forgive? Even though they done already fucked up and got somebody pregnant on the outside. How many guys do you know if their wives done the same thing and brung them, came home with a seed in them, would the, would the guy actually forgive them? Not many. Not many. And, and vice versa. How many, if, if the woman... <clears throat> If the if the woman had gotten, uh, I want to put this. If the guy, <laughs> I'm getting confused. Okay, if the guy got, <clears throat> if the if the guy cheated on his wife, um, no, let me shit. I knew I shouldn't have jumped. <laughs> okay, if the if the if the woman cheated on her husband. No, damn, I said it wrong again. Okay, now, if the guy cheated on his wife, that's what I want to say. I had it right the first time. I, should, I knew I should have drunk that last shot. <laughs> if the guy cheated on his wife, you know, would the, would the woman forgive the man? Now, I will say perhaps, and it's a good chance that the woman will forgive. Because most of the time, Women, when it comes to certain situations in that particular situation, they do forgive. 
and and be quite honest with you, when that happened with Arnold Schwarzenegger and his wife, I really thought she was just going to forgive him and move on. I really did. You know, I, 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 I did. For one, I thought they were, now they were married a long time, you know, so you figure they, you know, I keep using that them as an example because the story was so publicized. So, you know, you're familiar with it. <clears throat> but they were married a long time, so you would figure, I, you, know, you, you would guess that they were in love? I don't, I don't know. Maybe that would be a reason she, some people say she should have forgave them, they were in love? I don't know. But I think women are more prone to forgive the man for having outside children. They're, they're, they're more prone to forgive a man than a man is to forgive a woman. You know, I don't know for the reasons. I, 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 you, can, you can say anything, but me personally, I think it's because of this. Um... I think it's easier for um, a, a woman to do it because the child isn't there. You know, the child isn't in the household, you know, even though it's on the outside, but the, the, the child isn't there, you know, because the, the mother that he, he cheated, your the husband cheated was on the outside and the kid is usually with the mom. So the child isn't there, so she don't have to be reminded, you know, day after day after day after day of, you know, her husband's infidelity. But on the other hand, if that happened with the other side, would a woman actually get pregnant by another man from the outside and the lady has the, white, the, the, the baby in the marriage, you know, men are not less, far less likely to forgive that shit. Far less likely. Man can't handle that shit. They can't. They can't deal with it. They can't deal with the fact that their wives actually went on the outside and allowed someone to nut in them many times, <laughs> many times, over and over and over again. You know. Man can't, they can't handle that shit. They can't handle, they can't stomach it. You know? And I think the second main reason of, you know, the woman has a kid from another dude on the outside, you know, you and, and the man there, you know, you, you got to look at that little motherfucker every day. You got to be reminded that your wife actually went out, fucked somebody else, got pregnant, and you got to look at this little motherfucker <laughs> For 18 years at least, maybe more. You know, got to feed that little motherfucker too. So it's like, it's like you getting punished almost, you know? So it's very difficult for a man to forgive. And I think those are the two main reasons. They, men just can't handle that shit. They can't handle knowing that another man the nut at all in their wife, you know. Probably had their dick in their mouth. Who knows what they did? They men can't handle men. Men start to imagine shit, you know. And you know, and to be quite honest with you, you know, I, I think I, I really do think those are the main reasons. You know, men can't handle that shit. Can't handle knowing that their wives went out there and fuck somebody and let them nut all in them. And then, you know, the wife, because she's the mother, so the kid's going to be there. Got to look at that little motherfucker for a long time and be reminded of how their wives cheated on them. No, man will be far less. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible. Some men, some of you are listening to this show right now, know some men who have actually forgave their wives and actually had, the wives had a baby from another dude and, and they live happy ever after and shit. It happens. There's all this exception to the rule. But I'm saying for the most part, the majority, most men can't handle that shit. They, they're not going to go through that. You know. 
And I, I really think that if you are thinking about, you know, first of all, you know, I think a lot of you motherfuckers out there don't respect marriage. You know, a lot of you motherfuckers say I do and all these fancy ass vows and all these expensive ass weddings and wedding cakes and getting the colors and the, the, the bridal's maid having the right flowers and all this bullshit, but you forget what the true meaning and the true purpose of a marriage is. You motherfuckers are married. You're supposed to notice I'm not even married. I know what a marriage is more than some of you motherfuckers. It's supposed to be when you actually love somebody for the, and you, you, you're, you're pledging your love for the rest of your life. That's supposed to be some deep love shit. So, you know, I, I said earlier that I've never been in love, but if I had that kind of love, I, damn, I want to think that I couldn't cheat on my wife, let alone get somebody pregnant. And like I said, again, I'm not holy in the now. I'm not above everybody. Everybody fuck up. But that's really fucking up. That's fooging up. That's fucking up. Bad. You're actually cheating, but you're getting somebody pregnant or you get pregnant. If I love somebody, I couldn't do that to them. If I respected someone, I couldn't do that to them. That's how it's supposed to work. Do you know how much pain you can put someone through by actually going out there and cheating and getting pregnant? or getting someone pregnant. Do you know how much pain you can cause someone or someone's, maybe your family can get affected? You know, all the lives that you can affect just cause you wanted some dick on the outside or just cause you wanted some pussy on the outside. Do you know how many lives that you can ruin? And I guarantee you, no matter how much counseling and how much talking and all, how much, uh, you know, uh, groups and all that kind of shit you may have, your marriage will never be the same. It will never be the same. You will never get back to that level. You know, it's like you, you think about when you used to take those exams in uh, college or high school, whatever, and you can get straight A's, right? You, and you fuck around and get a B plus. <laughs> you know, you're missing a hundred by a few points. You know, but it, it don't matter how many A's you get after that. You'll never get back to that hundred score. You'll never get back to it. And that's what that happens when you cheat on someone. And actually go out there and get somebody pregnant or get pregnant. You know, you cause so much pain to them. You know, they will, they, they, they might can forgive you. They might can. But the pain that you put them through, your marriage will never be the same. You will never be the same. Your wife or husband who you cheated on will never be the same. Your family will never be the same. All the lives that you touch. Now you got another child, uh, you know, somewhere else, living in a, uh, you know, one parent household, you know, maybe feeling neglected because you're not there. You with the other children more, you know, all kind of problems could arise from that shit. All because you wanted some pussy, you know, all because you wanted some dick. The pain that you cause from that act, let alone cheating on someone, but getting them pregnant or getting pregnant, that's low. All I'm saying is, where is the respect in that? It's supposed to be a person you said vows to. In my opinion, you saying those vows didn't mean shit. Where is the respect in that? Where is the love in that? So, that's all I say. If 
before you go out there and, and getting some dick on the side and getting pussy on the side, think about the consequences. Think about the people that you're going to hurt. And I, I know it's a lot of times, you know, situations just push you that way. I know we all human. We all fuck up. <clears throat> but I think a lot of times this kind of problem could be prevented. You know, because a lot of times, like I said, a lot of you motherfuckers out there don't respect marriage. You don't respect, you know, what it's really supposed to be. You look at all you care about is the show. Was it a good marriage? How many people we had? How many presents we got? You know, where we went on our honeymoon, all that bullshit that don't mean nothing. It's supposed to be two people that love each other who pledging to spend the rest of their lives together. That's what a marriage is. That's some strong love. I've never been in love. But if that's how it's supposed to be, that means the love is strong. And if the love was that strong, how could you cause that much pain on someone? By cheating on them and going out and getting someone pregnant? Or getting pregnant? And then you got to come back and ask for forgiveness. You know? Then you got to live the rest of the... Knowing that your, your marriage will never be the same. She'll never trust you 100% again. He'll never trust you 100% again. Ever. You might get something, you might get a lot on it back, but it will, it'll never be in 100. Never. Never again. So, could you accept a love child produced from infidelity? I told you my answer. Hell no. I could not accept it. You know, I couldn't live with that. Now, most men couldn't live with that. I, I, but I'm speaking from a single man. I've never been in love. I told you that. I'm speaking from, from my mind. Now, who knows when I get married and love someone, maybe I could forgive. You know, maybe I could live with the fact that my wife actually went out there and let another man nut all in her. And I'm all right with looking at this little motherfucker for the next 18 years. Maybe I could forgive. I don't know. But speaking of my mind now, no. Could you forgive someone? You know, could you live with a love child? Ask yourself that. Ask your husband that. Ask your wife that right now. Ask them that shit and see what they say. But when you ask them that question, think about the pain that you will cause them by doing something like this. Think about the pain. And if you truly respect or love that person, you will never do it. No matter what. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this week's show. Um, be sure to subscribe that to the XY show on your favorite podcast avenue. I'm on Blueberry, I'm on Stitcher, I'm on TuneIn, I'm on iTunes, I'm on Spotify, I'm on iHeartRadio, and I'm on Castbox. So be sure to oh I'm on Google Play as well. So be sure to oh my, <laughs> and my main platform is Spreaker. So uh, that's where I broadcast from. So whichever one you listen to, be sure that you go to the site, subscribe, and uh, definitely support the show like that. And I very much appreciate it. Um, I'm also on social media. I'm on Tumblr. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. And I'm on Facebook. I said that. Um, I, uh, Instagram. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Taking that shot. <laughs> Should have joked that last shot. Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter. Um, you can find me on all of those social uh, medias. You can find all of that on my website, which is www.thexyshow.com. My social media and my podcast avenues are on there. Again, my website is www.thexyshow.com. 
You can find all of them there. Be sure to subscribe and follow. Also, the XY store is there. You can buy your shirt, a coffee mug, Android cover, um, iPhone cover, etc. Um, check it out. Take a picture. Send it to me. I'll definitely post it on my IG account. And there's also a contact form uh, for you to say hello to me. You say you're loving the show. What kind of show you like to hear. Uh, recommendations, constructive criticisms, all of that in the contact form. Be sure to speak to me and tell me that. And without further ado, I'm going to say Happy Easter again. I want you to always remember, you cannot have love without X and Y. Later. Ah. Uh. You've been listening to The X and Y Show with your host, Roosevelt Colbert, the place where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. Join us next time. You can now put your clothes back on or not.